The St. Louis attorney representing the man known as the QAnon shaman says his client has had a change of heart and will plead guilty in federal court tomorrow. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. He talked to our Casey Nolan about the case he will make to get his client out of jail for his alleged crimes on January 6th. Casey. Well, Mike and Ann, it's unlikely Jacob Chansley will ever escape the history of January 6th, but his attorney Al Watkins is hoping to remake his image enough to lessen his criminal sentence. We won the day. If Americans are split over just how serious the attack on the Capitol was, most would at least recognize Jacob Chansley as its face. The reality is that he is iconically linked forever to the events of January 6th. He had the best costume. St. Louis attorney Al Watkins hopes he can uncuff his client from any more jail time. For more than seven months, Chansley has been behind bars, deemed too dangerous to release, and charged with six federal crimes for his actions on January 6th including felonies for civil disorder and obstructing congressional proceedings. Friday, Watkins says Chansley will plead guilty in a deal with the government. He says what his client did not do, despite his visibility, was plan or lead the attack on the Capitol. This is not a man who had a plan to overthrow the government. This was not a man that you, me, or anyone would say, you know what, I'm following that guy. He's not going to stand up tomorrow and say he did nothing wrong. No, no, he's, he has owned it. He will own it. Watkins says Chancellor's mental health made him susceptible to conspiracy theories that led him to the Capitol that day. And he says his military records and a recent psychological evaluation will back that up. My client has sought to find a way to extract himself from the vortex that, that he was sucked into, that he was vulnerable enough to be sucked into. While Watkins condemns the violence of January 6th, he says Chansley wasn't violent and deserves compassion more than incarceration. Our nation will be judged by how we deal with those who have been vulnerable to and subjected to virtually nonstop propaganda for years. Watkins couldn't talk about specifics of the plea deal, but he seemed confident Chansley will be released and not have to serve any more time behind bars like he is now. But tomorrow is the hearing at 10 a.m.